but I love putting clear lip gloss. Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. We just gonna get right into the video because y'all, I am running late. But my mom had already washed my hair. She had already washed and um put my clippings back in because y'all, my hair was looking a little dusty crusted, okay? Okay, first of all, for y'all thinking like, oh, okay, she doing something. I don't know how to do my makeup. I'm really just trying to like, I don't know, okay? I, I'm trying to get something done. But yeah, I don't know how to do my makeup. So this going to be very interesting. I just be doing my makeup like when I really have to, like when my friend can't do my makeup or if I don't book nobody and this is so last minute and this is last minute. And yeah, but we gonna make the best out of it, and just hopefully, hopefully this come out right, okay? So y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all a story time because I just feel like in this hair industry, I feel like people think they could play with you, and you're not gonna play with me, like you know what I'm saying? Like, so basically, I guess there's um, there's a uh, a TikTok going around. I think I should wet this. Let me wet this a little bit. I think that's what they be doing. They be wetting it. Hold on. Let me wet this a little bit. Just a TAB. Just a TAB. Okay. But yeah. So yeah. So I guess there's a a TikTok video going around of like um Miami hair reviews or broad hair reviews or whatever. And my thing is, like, I'm a very chill person. Like, I don't, like, I don't really bother nobody or ever to care to bother nobody because I really stay in my lane. And once I'm in my lane, I'm just focused on me, myself, and I. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I just feel like when you're too humble, people feel like they could just play with you. And you're not, like, you're not about to play with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, they have reviews going around, and I guess this girl, like, people, so many people were sending it to me, and I'm just like, y'all, I don't care. Like, everyone has their opinion, and I don't know if I'm doing this right, because why does this look so white? Okay, I guess we're doing something, but yeah, like, you know, but a review going around or whatever, first of all, if you know me, hold on y'all, this is, I gotta concentrate while doing this little thing right here. But, if you know me, you know like, how can I say this? Like, I don't, I'm not a social media type of like, I don't go back and forth with people on social, I don't got time to go back and forth with people on social media, like, it's not even worth my time. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. People are weird. So yeah, there's um this little Miami Broadway hairstylist thing going on in Miami. And people just going and giving reviews. Okay, so a lot of people ask me how I feel about it. Honestly, people could go ahead and give people reviews. Like, that's cool or whatever. But I feel like when you're doing it for clout or when you start doing it for social media... Just because you want to do it on social media. Because number one, why you don't have a set of hairstylist? Number two, number two, why is you, um, why are you just going around to other hairstylists giving reviews? Like, just, why don't you just, it's just weird. Like, you know, like people really go above and beyond for messy shit. And I don't got time for it, you know? But yeah, so I guess she had, um, she had did a review on everybody. So, more of the story, people sending it to me talking about some. Oh, she gave me an eight. She gave me an eight talking about some. I was late twice to her appointment. I was late twice. Okay, number one, if I was late the first time and you ain't like my service when I walked in, like if, if I was late and when I'm late, I do be apologizing to my clients, you know. But when I do be late, why'd you book a second appointment? That's what be like, that's what that's what I'd be confused about. Like, they be a lot of people be talking mad shit about a lot of hairstylists, but they go back to them a second time, which is like why, you know? But whatever. But you booked me for a second time or whatever. I I honestly
honestly don't care about my review i really don't care about none of the reviews but i just want to like that clout chasing shit is kind of weird like to me i don't know but whatever but i'm the type of person once i stick to a hairstylist like okay yeah people you know they go to different hairstylists and it's like sometimes people will like have bad experience with hairstylists and it's like to just go and bash a hairstylist that's just weird to me but anyways yeah so she just did i do this oh, okay she just um yeah but more of the story i'm hearing like she going around just bashing hairstyles or whatever and i'm just like oh wow like you know interesting not that i care but i'm like okay cool so it's crazy because today i was at work and this is why i'm bringing it up because today i was at work and one of my clients was like girl why does girl have you um on her little tiktok thing and she raised you up an eight and tell myself oh you always late whatever whatever and i'm just like all right my thing is like if you feel like i was late the first time then don't don't book me the sex time if you feel like you ain't like my service the first time don't book me the sex time point blank period you know but yeah so i don't even know if i'm but yeah like everybody if you know me like as a hairstylist you know i'm chill as hell i'm always in my i don't even got time for like the drama i don't i don't i don't got time for it you know I don't got time for it. I don't care for it. But yeah. People talking about stuff. She just go on, on TikTok for clout or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care what she go on TikTok for. I could give two fucks. I really don't care. But don't. And it's crazy because when I seen it, my homegirl's like, she came to you before. And honestly, I never remember this girl coming to me. So, yeah. Like, I never remember this girl coming to me. I was like, okay, cool. Like, I guess, like, you know but it's cool like you could give reviews or whatever but constantly like if you constantly do it because of clout like i don't like that like that clout shit is weird to me like go to somebody because you actually genuinely want to go to the person not because you done heard somebody oh talk shit about this person and i'm not talking about me i'm talking about like other stuff that i've seen but like if you go to somebody like genuinely go to somebody don't go to somebody just so you could bash them because at the end of the day like some of these people, like some of these hairstylists, some of these whoever you go to, like this is their career. You know what I'm saying? Like you doing this and you doing that. This is honestly their career. And okay, I understand somebody, somebody told you oh to go to this person to bash them. I don't like that. And I, I was hearing that a lot. But yeah. But um. Y'all, I think I'm getting the hang of this little eyebrow thing. Y'all, y'all see that little arch? Ooh! But more of the story is, do I care about it? No, I don't care. I don't know. It's just weird to me how I'm just putting a little bit more because I like, I love the baking process. But don't be, don't be booking somebody and go and talk shit about them and go back to them. Just don't go to them. Don't go back to them at all. Like it's just weird. Like it's it's weird. It's it's giving weird. Okay. Like I I don't even like. I don't even have time for that like so and it's crazy because she done had like a review on like a lot of hairstylists like a lot and I'm just like dang girl you ain't find out one hairstylist that you like that you know you could just stick with because you know the type of person if I like somebody I'm gonna just stick that's it I'm gonna just stick with that person that's it like we together forever okay you my best friend period but yeah like you know but I don't know. That's that's whatever their situation is. That's their situation. But that messy shit, I don't do that messy shit. It's just weird. And to come to me a second time, tell my son, she was late both times. Like, girl, you should if I was late the first time and you ain't like my service the first time, she never came the second time. But anyways, yeah. And I'm the type of person when I be late. I be telling my clients I be late. I be texting them, I be like, oh, I'm running late or whatever. It's not like, because I know a lot of crazy, I, I done heard a lot of crazy ass stories about hairstylists in Miami. But yeah, like, you know, but don't book me the second time. If you, if you, yeah. And it's how I said, oh, you had to take a hot comb to show me where the part was at. 
Girl, first of all, I don't let nobody touch my hot comb. Don't even play it. <laughs> play like that like what i'm just like these people be having so much stories for these people i be like what like and it's a lot of other hairstylists that's like what like you know so it's just like why but whatever but yeah i'm going to dinner with my friends we going to dinner period 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 poop Yo, my mom did a good job on rewashing my hair. I had redid my baby hairs and everything because it was looking a little crusty dusty up there. You know what I'm saying? I've been working. So, y'all, please, I'm, okay, if you're a pro makeup artist or if you just a makeup artist who's just very talented, y'all, I'm just doing my makeup right now because it's an emergency, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'll just be seeing these little steps on YouTube, okay? If I'm missing a step, I am. Oh my gosh. I spoke too soon. I am. My contours. <laughs> yeah, this Fenty Beauty. Fire. Okay, fire. But I had went to Ulta one time. And then it was like, y'all, I didn't even know about contour. I was like, what the hell is contour? She was like, baby, you don't contour? And I'm like, no, I'm not even a makeup artist. I don't know what the hell. She was like, you just need to try this. I'm like, okay. Yo, ever since then, I done fell in love. I done fell in love. Love and affection. Love. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. First, I say losing my beauty. I said using. I say using. Girl, it's losing. I say losing my beauty blenders and always have to open a new one but yeah more of the story is y'all I don't like when other people bash other people just for the fun of it like I don't like that shit because why like what do you get out of bashing somebody just for the heck of it I don't like that you know like, of course, everybody's not going to have the same experience with the same hairstylist or everybody might not like my service or somebody came to me and didn't like how I did their hair or whatever. I don't know. But everyone's not going to have the same. I don't know. A lot of people don't experience the same service as everybody else. So, you know, so I feel like let people let people um experience their, their own experience if that makes sense let people experience their own experience with that hairstyle so don't just bash it and scare everybody off like i don't like that because at the end of the day this is people careers like you messing with it. like and a lot of people who's not in the beauty industry who's not in the beauty industry or who don't um who don't who don't own a business and who just work a regular nine to five which is nothing wrong with working a nine to five but don't bash another um, entrepreneur business for the hell of it. Like, I understand if you really like on some serious shit, you have some like really like like bad experience, and it's just like, dang, like she really tried it, like or like you know some crazy shit. But don't just do it for the heck of it, cause it's like people love messy shit, and you gonna attract a lot of messy shit. I tell this, I tell this to people all the time. Messy shit goes viral quicker than um positive things, you know. So it's like. People love when people are messy. People love it. Oh my God. Y'all know how many people are tuned into the um, shade room to like, yo, like people love messy shit. So it's like, don't be messy. Like, I don't like that. Like, that messy shit is so weird to me because it's like, what do you get out of that? And I'm not speaking because I care, but I'm speaking because a lot of people brought this to my, um, brought this girl to my attention. And I'm just like, okay, girl. I hope TikTok pay you. Pay you for this little clout you don't got off of these hairstylists in Miami. I hate y'all when I be contouring, I don't be knowing what the hell I be doing. I just be doing. <laughs> I don't know what I be doing. I just be doing. I just be, I don't know. I know my homegirl gonna watch this video and be like, girl, what is you doing? I don't know. This is what I be seeing. Hopefully the results. Come out as perfect. I don't know, y'all. Am 
on, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Oh my gosh, let me see. Oh my gosh, it's 8.20. Nikki, hurry the fuck up. Okay, I'm going to add some more contour because I feel like I ain't contoured enough. Because I don't know, ain't it supposed to be deep or something? It's supposed to be deep. Deep? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I need to listen to some music. But yeah, that's, um, that's what I had to say. That's my little story. It's, it wasn't even a story time. It was like a vent moment, you know? But yeah, don't bash people for the hell of it. Like, if you really had an experience, like a really bad experience with somebody, then okay, cool. But going on, and y'all know, y'all know TikTok be going, be getting, be going viral so quick off messy shit. Y'all know, like. Cause I ain't gonna lie, y'all, when people be posting their like little boyfriend story times or like story time, like some serious shit, I be like, dang, I be so to it in. So I know that shit be going so viral, okay? It be going viral. Okay, I think I did my best. I think I did my best. Y'all look like burnt mark. Oh my gosh, that's just so ugly. Okay, I think I did something right. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little lip liner. I gotta do it a little off camera, cause. <gasps> ah! Yeah, my pencil broke right, right while I got started. I with my head back and forth with my. I need to hurry up and stop playing. Yeah, I think the only thing I know how to do right with makeup is my lip liner. Like, my lip liner, I be, I be eating them lips up, okay? Okay, period! What I said, I said is when I be doing my lips, it be my lips. It be my lips. It be my lip liner combo that be eating the girls up. Oh, I think I did a little sun sun. Okay. I did a little sun sun. Yeah, my lips are eating the girls up right now. Yeah. Am I supposed to? Oh, I was about to. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I think I ate a little bit. Is this the part where I dust my um? Oh my gosh, I need to take a makeup glass because I don't know if I dust my um. My setting powder off, or yeah, I'm just about to keep the setting powder on and just do everything. Cause I, my friend told me the longer you leave your um, the longer you bake, the better. So, the longer. But oh my gosh, I have no more lip gloss. I just bought this lip gloss. So what the hell? Uh uh, they cheating me because I literally just bought this lip gloss. It's giving a little something, something. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. Um, I'm about to. Okay, nigga, we get it. We get it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm wearing yet. Why don't I have no more lip? Why don't I have any more pink lip gloss? Oh, okay. But. Okay, yeah, I'm about to, um, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I feel like, um, I don't know. As long as the face come out looking like something, then I don't care. Don't judge me in the comments. Don't go, don't drag me. I'm already dragging my damn self. Okay. 
I'm already dragging my dance, so. Like, I was like, oh, let me know what other videos y'all want me to make for you guys. Why is it so much a makeup tutorial? Girl, I need a makeup tutorial. <laughs> like, y'all be killing me. I be like, oh my God. These girls don't know. I don't even know how to do my own makeup, for real. Like, I could do like a little something to save my life. Mm -hmm. I feel like something missing. I could just do something to save my mother to get out. I think I did it right. I don't know if I'm missing something. It's between me and God. Because I don't know what I'm missing, what I possibly could be missing. Oh, I'm missing blush. But do I know I think I have to spray my face first. Let me put some setting powder. Not some setting powder. Some loose powder. Nikki, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I need a makeup class real bad. What am I doing? Yeah, this is good enough. That's all I need. This is all I need. Y'all know I need my Morphe setting spray. Damn, baby. We're going to be done right now. And I don't know if I'm the only person. Probably. No, I don't think so. But I love putting clear lip gloss on top of my arm. Um, My other lip glosses. Like, it just does something to the lips. At least I know that when you put your lip gloss on, you're supposed to pop it out. Pop the lips. No, I be learning a little something, A little shunt, shunt. Okay. I think I'm all set. I don't need nothing more. That's it. And if I do need something more, like I said, it's between me and God because I don't know what. Okay, I need to go find an outfit. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. Y'all did see this pants and this top in my fashion overhaul. I forgot where I got this from, but something super cute. I'm not wearing, I was gonna wear my um Cuban, but I'm not even gonna wear that because I feel like it'll be super tacky with this one right now. So, I'm gonna just wear Wear my bracelets. Ooh, like have my little arm candy on, but I'm not wearing my Cuban because it ain't giving me this outfit, but this outfit is giving though. So I didn't want to wear heels tonight. So I might wear uh, I don't know, I think I might wear heels. I was gonna wear my Chanel sneakers. Let me see, because I feel like sometimes when I be putting my fits together. They be looking better versus me just processing it in my head. I'm gonna see how these look. Um, I probably might like them. I don't know. Um, it's not giving the girls. Um, it looks so. Dior for my smell tonight. It smells so good. Go get you one of this. Alright y'all, so I'm about to head out, but it's giving the girls a little something. I ended up going with the Chanel sneakers because they are so cute. But she's from Nicaragua. I thought you was Persian yeah, so I'm on my way right now. It does say 44 minutes away. So I'm definitely going to be late. But um, y'all know I'm about to hit the dash. And we about to get there. But I'm a, um, I don't know if I'm going to record when I get inside. I'm going to see. 
I'm gonna see what's the vibes. I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. I'm about to park valet and um y'all first of all the traffic here is crazy because it's on the beach and literally everybody is here so I'm just waiting for valet right now me with your name or in the office valet with your name okay okay the when key. I come and pick the car back up yes only okay. only clean the car no more okay But you gotta be smart about it Celebrations with the guys I sacrificed Cause I knew you could not sleep without it Meanwhile, I, I, I love you You're my girl You see, I, 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 I,